Jones. We're ready for the. We're ready for the puck drop, and the puck is squirted back towards the D zone. Bonofsky doesn't collect. It's back now in the most D. Lovely work on this near side. Webster around the outside. He's got Ryan Ravers cross, fires it in. Low down to his left hand side. Another save there by Miller. Mo's making the most of an early start. Puck's loose in front. Shot goes in. Another save by Miller. This time it was uh, Mason Webster that fired the second one in. Shot at the other side. And I tell you what, it's gone in. And that is a little bit of a front skate start for the Mo's. be buoyed by that the stars really hadn't sorted themselves up Miller was forced into a double save the second ricochet came out and away at his left pipe it was just fended low and it's just dribbled in it's a great finish this finds Williams Williams takes it outside wants to hold it thought about a snapshot plays it across the face to redirect there by Logan Prince back out to the blue shot goes in from distance tied it up by Phillips Phillips out Ravenscroft back from that blow he got early. And now Cox to Ravenscroft. Ravenscroft through the centre to Prince. Prince now drives, 220, slap shot goes in. What a goal by Logan Prince. I tell you what, Ben Clements didn't even smell the vulcanised rubber there because that's rifled into the top bin over his right shoulder. Logan Prince is the man that pulls it back to one apiece here. Shut up and sit down. Equalising the first effort by Bonofsky, and what a goal by Logan Prince. That's one he'll want to watch, that's one he'll see again. Stars one, Moe's one. Massive word for you, traffic means when you're going to have a shot, you want to get some of your players, your teammates in front of the netminder so he doesn't get a clear eyesight. Also, you can also just use like the face of a bat running the ball down the third man, a redirect. That's the way you can also do it as well. Shot goes in, 2-1. What a fine shot that was. Absolutely rifled in. I think it's second of the game. I think that's Bonofsky. Just picked up. <laughs> On a half chance in front of the net. But a real, real wristy shot. And I think Bonofsky's got his second. Balance of play in the first period. It's down to me to really tell you. I think there was a lot of effort and endeavour there from the Oxford City Stars. I think they've spurned quite a few chances when it came to the fact that they had power plays, didn't get enough shots on target for me. When they did, Ben Clements was in fine form. And I think the Moes always look as though they've got a little bit more going forward than the Stars at the moment. But the most going to the break, leading by two goals to one. At Oxford underscore sports is the way forward. We're going to go now whilst the Zamboni cut is on. Highs down, looking full house. Stars, Prince, who got the equalise for the Stars, tries to take it forward. And now the Stars with a chance, far side. Williams tries to go through to his namesake. Oh, Mr. Phillips. On a Sunday morning at Agony Marshes, I tell you what, that would be an absolute corker. Staples stars with a chance coming in. Clean the square, first timer at the back nets off its pins. Won't count Lorde. Great save by Clements anyway. He wouldn't have known the nets was off the pins. Wants it back down the left wing, takes it well. Stars a little bit cockeyed with their defence. Save by Miller back in front, scooped in. What a save by Miller again. That really should have been number three there. Comes off the referee this time, real chance in front. What a goal that is on the spin. That is a superb finish by Brandon Webster. Absolutely rifled it into the back of the net. Came 
same with the referee. A little bit of for fortuitousness, if there's such a word. But I tell you what, the finish was sublime. On the spits, only 3-1 though. Seen the lots of leads disappear in third periods. Stars hold it with Staples. Staples skates to the top of the circles. What a goal by Alex Staples. Rifles it in. Alex Staples there with his first goal of the season. Shut up and sit down. Just carried it into the top of the circles, just slightly to Clements's left-hand side and Pollock in the top bins on the right-hand side. What a finish. Staples makes it 3-2. Webster in behind, Jackson in front. That is the end of the period. And indeed, it's been a period which has seen quite a lot of action. It was 2-1. Uh, Bonofsky with two goals in the first period and an equaliser from Logan Prince as we went into the second period. Again, I would say that the Moes have been possibly the aggressors. We've got a little bit of a handbags over there. Might just have to pop out and have a little look what's going on there. A few people are not too happy with the end of the first period. And uh, it was a little light heavyweight contest there. Mr Phillips is being escorted away by Mr Edwards. And uh, I gotta say, Billy Phillips, it, it's still going on there. They're all to, it's a bit like watching it's a knockout on the far side now, where you've just got the one door opening for one person, yet 16 are trying to get through at the same time. No. Goals in the second period, a fine goal by Webster, who profited from a, a knock off the referee and span and fired it in high into the net to make it 3 1. The Moes pretty much in line for that 3 1. They've been the more aggressive side going forward. The Stars have got a lot of huff, huff and puff, but not a lot actually on there. But Staples, the veteran, the senior, the seasoned campaigner coming out of D, rifled it in to reduce the arrears to 3-2 at the back end of the period. So it's all set fair for the third period. If you are enjoying this broadcast at Oxford underscore sports, give us a shout. Mason Webster that is in the box. And on the opposite side, I'm trying to see who it is for the Stars. It's Williams over on the Stars. It's Williams for the Stars. So those two were the ones that had the fallout at the back end of the second period. So 4-4 four four ice hockey. And I think this is a big moment in the game here, certainly for the Moes. Because if they can extend their lead, because I feel they could be better over the ice with a four-on-four four situation. Your thoughts? It's certainly quite possible with the way the play is going so far we've seen that stars aren't really taking advantage of those power play moments so with this even-handed setup here i'd have to give it to the moles the longest two minutes i've had for a while i can tell you it must be long for the stars as well prince loses out still kept in there shot will go in cleared back double save by triple save by the netminder miller Excellent work there by Ross Miller, and I tell you what, that was quite something from Ross Miller. A triple save turned on by Cook in behind. Eden Parrish tries to play it back in front, but knock fires it in. Good save somehow by Clements. Don't think he knew a great deal about that. Prince in behind the net, wants to just slip it back in front. Oh, it was a good chance as well. Williams didn't read it. Can it be kept in? It's kept in, no offside as well. Ravenscroft loses out. Now the break is on, Bonofsky. He's in behind Ravenscroft, he's done exceptionally well, the young man there, just to put Bonofsky off to Cook. Cook's giving it up, real chance. Oh, couldn't be taken by Harris, who could not believe how much time he had. And Chris Cook there exhales from many, many parts of the body, I think, as he fired that across the ice. Still, the Stars hedges, finds Klima. Klima, the man you want on the puck now, going in, looks for traffic, looks for the legs. Good save by Clements at the second attempt. Sweet pass down the left wing. Staples has got wrong side. Coming in Webster. Can he finish it off? Good save again by Miller. 
Aitken will try and get this round the boards and away. Staples keeps it in. Can he keep it goal? It's no, he's down. He's prone. Driving the other way. Jackson. There's a three on one here. Jackson goes square. Lovely bit of work by Cook there. Just deflected that away. Stars with six on the ice now. Klima hangs up on the blue. Forward. Klima gets it. Aitken in front. Doesn't take the puck with him. The fans are on their feet. We're into the final six seconds. The Moes. Trying to get the puck away with Clemens. He falls on it. One and a half seconds left. Face off in front of the net. Jackson and Oliver. Jackson wins it. Aitken gets there. The Moes win by three goals to two. Well, that's the end of our ice hockey broadcast tonight. That's the end. I've been Andrew Self. Thank you for joining us. See you soon.